This is Grade 5, Module 4, Lesson 13, The Objective, Multiply Unit Fractions by Unit Fractions. There are multiple standards with this lesson. This is Problem 1 from Homework. Half of a half a cake equals how much cake? The first thing we're going to ask ourselves is how can we write an expression for half of a half a cake? Well, we're going to take the word half and make it a fraction. Half of multiply and bring down the half of a cake. Now we're going to multiply one half times one half. Now we know from our previous lessons when we multiply, we multiply across. So one times one is one, and two times two is four. So half of a half a cake equals one fourth of cake. Now most of the time they ask us to draw a model to represent our thinking. So I'm going to draw this rectangle, which will symbolize my cake pan. Now it's telling me that I have to partition my cake pan in half. So I'm going to partition my cake pan in half and I'm going to shade one half of my cake pan. So I'm going to label this as one half. Now it's telling me that I want half of the half of a cake pan. So if I want half of a half of a cake pan, I'm going to partition my cake pan horizontally in half. So I'm going to shade half of my cake pan horizontally and I'm going to label it one half. If you notice the only part of my cake pan that is shaded twice is this box right here. So we have one out of four parts shaded twice. And if you look, one-fourth, so half of a half a cake equals one-fourth and it matches our numbers from before. Let's try another one. One third of a half a cake equals how much cake? Again, we're going to turn one third of a half a cake into an expression. One third is going to become the fraction one third of will be our multiplication sign and half of our cake. Again, we're going to multiply one third times one half. In our previous lesson, we learned to multiply across. One times one is one and three times two is six. So yes, one-third of a half is one-sixth. Again, I want to draw a model to represent our thinking. So this rectangle will once again represent our cake pan. Now it's telling us that our cake pan should be half of a cake. So again, I'm going to partition my cake pan in half, and I'm going to shade one-half of the cake, and I'm going to label it one-half. Now I need to find what is one-third of the cake. So I'm going to partition my cake pan horizontally into thirds. And I'm only going to shade in one-third of the cake pan, which I'll label one-third. So again, how many boxes have been shaded twice? Only one of our boxes out of one, two, three, four, five, six have been shaded twice. So one third of a half a cake is one sixth, which matches our answer from before.